On June 22nd, we're hosting Yoga at the Great Lawn, which will be the world's largest yoga event ever. It's a celebration of culture here in New York, the yoga community. I'm really trying to allow uh, new people to experience yoga as well. So we hope thousands of people who've maybe never done yoga or just dabbled in it will come and, and uh, have a potentially life-changing experience. Hi, my name is Maya Fines and I do Kundalini Yoga. It's very often I say it rhymes with Linguini. <laughs> Just because lots of people cannot say it and they, what is that? Well, let me explain to you. Uh, Kundalini yoga, it's all about, it's energy yoga. It's getting that energy that it's stagnating. It's kind of dormant, sleeping in the base chakra at the fourth vertebra. And we are all born with it, but it's not doing anything until you wake it up. <laughs> so we do a lot of different combination, actually, of movement, mantra, chanting, meditation, and asanas, kriyas. And it's a different set. Every day you come to Kundalini class, it's going to be different. You're going to be working on different things. And that makes it all very new. It's never boring. <laughs> and that keeps me very alive because I have to prepare all the time. <laughs> I would love to do mantra har, H-A-R, and you roll the tongue on a R tonight, if we can. Uh, I know it wasn't planned, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll leave it to the forces. <laughs> uh, just because it's an amazing opportunity to see the shift in the consciousness that can happen. 10,000 people sh chanting har with such an intention that it's beautiful because you really clear your head and you clear the nervous system through the shaking of, through the fingers and it's really a special mantra and it's really beautiful and everybody there if they, we have a chance will feel something happen some shift happening do you know i always dreamt of this kind of event having so many people as i said mentioned before it's just beautiful to shift that consciousness collectively uh, when you have that many people to work with, it's just so uh, fantastic to move the masses. They will really feel, because uh, it's different when you have that many people. Obviously, the group consciousness is very powerful. And it's just, uh, I'd love to see more people being involved in their, their lives and getting themselves better. Therefore, they're better for the others and better for the environment. And if everybody think of themselves, as a yogini, then the world will be a better place to live. <laughs>